Welcome back, everyone. So I thought while I was looking at all these, uh, you know, these trailers that are coming out for like superheroes or assassins or whatever, that I'd take a look at the Flash trailer. And apparently this came out nine months ago. They're, I think they're pretty much done with the movie now. And it's, I don't even know if this trailer is real. Let's be real. This is from like IGN trailers. So I'm guessing it's real, but I could be wrong. You know, maybe they're, maybe they're lying to us. As you all know, Ezra Miller has been on a, uh, well... He's done a lot of crazy shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say he? I meant they. Yeah, yeah. So they caused a lot of problems in Hawaii because they wanted to, well, you know, get some from a younger girl. So they ran off. That wasn't in Hawaii, but you know, I'm sorry to make, there's just so much controversy, so many problems. I just read through these the comments a little bit before I watched this trailer and I'm like, yeah, he probably is the main villain. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. They is probably the, you know, the main villain. I'm sorry, but they sucks ass. Actually, I should probably take that back. He's probably sucking a, the ass of a minor, which, you know, I anyone who does that deserves to be beaten and thrown in prison. Yeah. Why don't you just kill him? Why don't you just unalive him? And I'm like, oh, really? Y you know what happens to those kinds of people? All right, you know what happens to uh, the R words when they're in prison? Serial killers. The worst of serial killers that weren't, you know, rapists themselves. Yeah, I said the word. That weren't rapists themselves. They actually go and beat the living shit out of these fuckers. Okay? Imagine that day in and day out. Compare that to death row. All right? I, I think where I live, you know, I, I think we have a death penalty in my state. And it's like... It's been so many years since I've actually killed someone. All right. But they're they all just staying in their cushiony little room alone, you know, doing their thing, just waiting. Okay, when am I going to die? All right. Now, I, I, from what I understand, lethal injection is actually really painful. It's I, I, What they do is they actually they inject you so that you don't move. It paralyzes you, and then they give you the in most insane amount of pain, and you can't react to it. So it's actually a really painful way to die. I never knew that. I always thought they just, like, you know, injected you, and then you were just done. You know, maybe after a couple of minutes, you just, like, die from poison. No, I always thought the electric chair was a little more fun. Hanging never seemed too great. I, it's like, okay, you're blindfolded, and then they, they do that. Let's, let's stop talking about, you know, depressing topics like pedophiles. Oh, no, I said the word. And, you know, uh, a death row and all that. Me, personally, I would rather see someone rot in prison being beaten down by the worst serial killers of all time and even possibly rape themselves than, you know, they, oh, well, no, they got, like, they get pain once. And, you know, there's always the problem with, uh, you know, they're proven innocent later on. That could, that could also happen, you know. Uh, but, you know, besides that point, though, let's see what happens because last I checked, Ezra Miller's still out there running around and it, it was posting... My uh, flash memes like you almost got me. Oh, you can't get him. You'll be back in a flash. That kind of bullshit. Someone needs to arrest that motherfucker. And WB is standing by him, and they are terrible for doing that. That is just like, not only they're not gonna help Ezra out with his fucking problems. No, they're gonna actually. Oh, I'm sorry. With they or theirs fucking problems. Yeah, I gotta respect the pronouns of a complete asshole. Yeah, yeah. I'm not the kind of person that would just stop with the pronouns with somebody. Like, if some if somebody did that, it's easier just to get get past that. I'm not really looking for a political fight. But it's just like, come on, it's Ezra Miller, okay? I don't care how fucked up the guy is in the head. I'm not going to use his pronouns, okay? Not unless I do it in a mocking tone like, they and they, because they is an asshole. So let me just get started. Flash trailer 2022. I seriously doubt this is the real trailer, but I'm gonna watch it anyway. Tell me something. You can go anywhere you want, right? Any timeline, any universe. Huh. Why do you wanna stay? You changed the future. That was the night his parents died? Or his mom died? And you changed the past. Alright, so he's getting a way better suit. Very nice.
Batman. Michael Keaton's Batman. I forgot all about that. I forgot I heard all about that. Wow, okay. The classic Batmobile. Ugh, it's a shame I will never see that movie in theaters. Like, I refuse to. All right, yeah, so that's exactly what I heard of. That was the teaser, and, you know, it's I, I guess it was real. Yeah, here's, like, a bunch of breakdowns of the trailer. Okay, I don't give a flying fuck. Personally, I never thought Ezra Miller would make a good flash. Then the Snyder Cut, you know, really changed my opinion. Yeah, this motherfucker can, you know, get away with a lot of shit. This is one of them. He, he knows how to act. He knows how to act like he's not an insane person. Let's read some of these comments, though. I'm going to turn my screen back on. Let's take a look. I guess you could say the main villain in this movie is Ezra Miller himself from Dr. Deadpool. Jeremy Fritz says, It is now statistically more likely for you to be attacked by the Flash than a shark while visiting Hawaii. Well, I mean, I'm not going to attack anyone. You know, I don't I don't think anyone calls me shark. No. <laughs> uh, no, it's Shark Knight. See, there's a difference. Stingray4567 says, I hear the main fight at the end is Flash against a bunch of innocent women. It wasn't even in the script, but Ezra really got into it. Let's see, Kartik. It's safe to say that Ezra Miller's career ended in a flash. No, I seriously doubt it. I seriously doubt anyone's going to hold this guy accountable, all right? What, what, do you, what do you think? He's not Gina Carano. He's not Johnny Depp. No, he's a protected class. Let's see, epic reactions. The universe where Batman never had to turn his neck. Good point, actually. Yeah, Michael Keaton, he uh, he never turned his neck at all. It's kind of weird how stiff his, his mask was. Yeah, he is confirmed for the movie, and it is that version of Batman. I guess he's just going to be like a multiverse thing. And, you know, Michael Keaton, nothing, uh, not, I don't really have anything against the guy. I don't know much about what he's done. He's probably had some scandals over the years. Who hasn't? Not not too sure. Nobody here is complaining about Michael Keaton, probably because, you know, he's uh, he's definitely not in his prime. Alex Tae-Yong, Tae, Alex Tae-Yong Tae says, when a hero in the movie is, is, ba is the bad guy in real life, uh, I hate to break it to you, buddy. That's most Hollywood actors. Seriously, someone name a, like a, a good actor who like is actually a good person. Keanu Reeves doesn't count. Right. Actually, yeah, y'all look at anything Keanu Reeves does. The guy is like the king of uh, of like the, the good ones. All right. When it comes to Hollywood, he's definitely one of the good ones. Okay. I, from what I hear, others include Robert Downey Jr., uh, John Favreau. And what's what's his name? Uh, uh, Denzel Washington, and like there there are good people in Hollywood. I'm not saying they're not like relatively good, especially speaking, or they've had bad histories. Like you know, Robert Downey Jr. has like constant DUIs and you know drug abuse and beatings, bar fights, and all that shit. But he came back from it, and he's you know turned his life around. And he does more good than he ever did bad. All right, maybe Ezra Miller can be redeemed as well. I don't know. I don't know. It's just right now, though, it's Robert Downey Jr. was actually held into account from what I from what I think. Actually, that, that's probably not true. That, that's the thing. Probably no one held anything to him. He actually had to, you know, go do things himself. All right, that takes a lot more than, you know, what some of these people in Hollywood do. It's like nobody holds him accountable. I mean, how long did it take for Johnny Depp to get fired from Fantastic Beasts and what else? Uh, oh, yeah, from Pirates of the Caribbean? What, it took five minutes? Maybe five days? Huh? Ezra Miller's been doing all this shit, and he just won't get fired. Now they're going to release it in theaters, and it's going to bomb. All right, it's going to bomb worse than... I don't know, what's like the worst movie that's bombed recently? I don't know. Okay, let's keep reading these, some of these comments. I'm just going to read like a few more, just because I, I think they're funny. Aaron Yeager says... Batman is so iconic that just seeing his silhouette is enough to generate excitement. Well, yeah, no one's excited for The Flash, which is too bad, because like I said, I thought in the Snyder Cut, they actually did a good job with him. All right? You know, uh, separating the art from the, act from the actor, it's, it's different. Awesome Bacon says, This looks like a great sequel to a Flash movie we never got. That's true. We never got a Flash movie. This expects you to know the origin of The Flash, which, you know, if you all see the TV show, I used to watch it. I kind of stopped after a long while. Uh, Crow Jester says, he can be the fastest man on Earth, 
but I guess he can't outrun jail time. <laughs> Jose Rodriguez, I know how you can fix this movie. Use the real-life events of Ezra Miller and work that into the story. In the end, Batman tracks Ezra Miller and puts him in Arkham Asylum. Hey, that would be great. That'd be a great plot twist, actually. <laughs> uh, ben, just Ben, says, I never thought my entire life that Michael Keaton would play Batman again. My 11-year-old self just started screaming. I'm not the biggest fan of that Batman movie. It's cool and uh, it's like similar to Batman the... Uh, like, you know, Batman the series, like the animated series and all that. It's cool and all, it's just... He's not my Batman. Christian Bale is. All right. Never really liked Ben Affleck as Batman. Not a fan of Robert Pattinson as Batman. Actually, yeah, unpopular opinion. I didn't like the Batman. All right. Pacing was terrible. Didn't like the plot. Still in? Still in? Pacing was terrible. Didn't like the plot. Didn't like what they did with uh, with Bruce Wayne because he doesn't even exist. Catwoman was irrelevant. Uh, let's see. The Riddler? I, I don't get it. They worked in the Joker thing. I mean, you can see right here in the corner. Uh, let, me, let me see if I can move the mouse. Right here. You see that? All right, there's like the deleted scene from the Batman. I wasn't a fan of that. None at all. Uh, I just... Uh, I don't know what to say. I just didn't really like the movie very much. I was trying to give it a chance, but it was just way too slow paced. It was just the, the car, the, the, the chase scene ended with him killing multiple people. Let's, let's just like not forget about that. All right. And I think it really fucked up in the way that it, there was no Bruce Wayne. And so because of that, you don't really know anything about his motivations. You don't even know who he is as a person. He's like, he's Batman 24-7. As much as that would probably be preferable in a lot of cases, him being Bruce Wayne is very important to his character. He doesn't even exist. But that's enough of that. All right. Uh, Joe, Joe Downing. I can't wait to see the Flash film. I hope nothing serious happens to any of the major cast members. None of these cast members have actually spoken out against Ezra Miller. Of course not. Everyone speaks out against Johnny. But no, why would they speak out against uh, Ezra Miller? This guy doesn't care. All right, Grindhouse Funhouse can't go wrong with Keaton narrating. I'm all in, I'm all in just to see him after all these. Oh yeah, he was narrating. I didn't notice that. All right, let's scroll down a bit and just go to some random comment. I'm gonna pick two more and then I'll be it. Gregor says the only reason I'm gonna see this is to mark out and apply with everyone else. The moment Keaton says I'm Batman, if he doesn't say that line, what are they even doing? <laughs> Yeah, his his Batman version is just like not bad. Versus, you know, Christian Bale's version is Batman. Yeah, my uh my my Christian Bale is not not too bad. All right, one more. Let's look for a long one. Ah, here's a long one. The Revengers. <laughs> Thor Ragnarok reference. I don't care what they do with other characters. If there is Reverse Flash, I pray to God they do justice to him. It is nearly impossible to pull off such a complex character as good as Tom Cavanaugh. But I really hope it's not underwhelming to see him if at all he is in the movie. Okay. Yeah, Tom Cavanaugh, great actor, great in all his roles. I mean, he's just like, uh, well, the only roles that we know him from is uh, his multiple roles in The Flash. He plays every version of Harrison Wells, Reverse Flash, all of those phenomenally like no complaints with any of his acting all right he plays the scenes great only the place i know him from is the yogi bear live action and that's kind of uh it's kind of weird <laughs> yeah he's the I, I never expected him to be that uh, it, it's, it's funny people actually make the joke flash uh you know ran back in time and he fucked up the timeline it's like barry what did you do <laughs> uh, i really hope this microphone's working if it's not i'm gonna be pissed All right, yeah, I guess that's all I got. I really have to say about all this. So, you know, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and tell me what your thoughts are on Ezra Miller and would you use his preferred pronouns despite being a complete asshole? Because for my sister and my cousin, they told me that, you know, they respect his pronouns because, well, you can still respect someone's pronouns even though they're a complete asshole. And I'm like, no, I want to disrespect a person like that. A person like that, I definitely want to disrespect, all right? I'm not going to go up to some transgender person and be like, oh, hi, dude, guy, girl, whatever, when their pronoun is something else. I, I don't, no, I'm not going to create a conflict with some stranger. But when it's like, when it's Ezra Miller and all the terrible shit he's done, you know, he, he's not even the worst person in Hollywood, let's be real. No, the worst people in Hollywood are ten times worse. 
But no, if I could go up to all those like terrible people in Hollywood and just like give them my just desserts and just tell them like the worst shit about themselves and all that, tell them how do you sleep at night? You all are crazed motherfuckers. I'd definitely do it. All right. I I definitely do it. I'm the kind of guy who would like who talks on Twitter the same way he talks in real life or speaks. Yeah. The same way I type on Twitter is the same way I speak in real life. I'm not going to, you know, down, like, it probably gets me in a lot of trouble <laughs> in, in real life. So, it's just how it is. But anyway, yeah, stay tuned, everybody, for the next one, which I don't know what it'll be. Have a good, have a good one.